Friends, today is Saturday, October 19, 2024, and I'm going to read some wonderful different verses. Uh, our connection to Jesus is often described in Scripture in terms of our, our capacity to see him. And I think of there being, there being four stages. Are you with me on this? Four stages to think about, about seeing Jesus. In the Scriptures, there's a period of time where the, the uh, kings... And the prophets, they kind of knew through the power of God's Spirit that the Messiah was going to come. They talked about it. They dreamed about it. They prayed for it. But they never got to see him. Um, and uh, Jesus talks about that. He says um, in Luke uh, 10, he says there around verse 20, he says, uh, you know, there's many prophets and kings who wanted to see what you see. And so that's this anticipatory seeing where, where um, many great figures in the Old Testament dreamed of the arrival of Jesus. And then there's the seeing that happened for Jesus' actual disciples in his day. They saw him in the flesh. They saw him do, speak and act and heal and suffer all of the real things of his life. They got to witness. And uh, Jesus said to them in Luke uh, 10, again, he said to them, uh, blessed are the eyes that see what you see. Wonderful thing. Um, but it's interesting. We tend to look at the prophets and the saints and we admire the fact that they lived toward a future they didn't get to see. They had faith for something that they didn't get to experience. And we look at uh, the disciples and we say, wow, we depend on their ability to have lived with Jesus and actually seen what happened to see him in the flesh and we admire the immediacy of that and the power of it for us but do you know the saints and the martyrs we're talking about the great figures they admire us even more more than we admire them because as we hear in first Peter 1 8 and 9 although you have not seen him you love him that's us that's Peter speaking to the people that didn't get to see Jesus in the flesh, who've heard about him now out in these other areas of Asia Minor. You didn't see him, you love him. And even though you don't see him now, you believe in him. You rejoice with indescribable joy. It's glorious. And you'll receive, therefore, the outcome of your faith is salvation of your souls.